what it is. Hmm. Mark Sconti reporting. Just a little preview before the big event tonight. Oh boy, the corporate corporate debate part two. <laughs> Actually, it's part it's part it's part three of four, right? Because you got it's actually the second debate. Tonight we'll be in um, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Wow. Corporate Democrats, corporate, the corporate elite, holding a democratic debate in Michigan. <clears throat> right? Let's not let's not confuse it. It is a <clears throat> corporately funded debate. Is it of the people, by the people, and for the people? <laughs> uh, you remember when that was the case? Not anymore. It's who pays the bill. Who pays the bill picks the questions, picks the commentators, picks how many how many contestants on the stage. Right? Controls the narrative. The money controls the narrative. So CNN, having said that, CNN tonight will have their... Uh, second 20 car pileup, 10 cars tonight, and 10 more tomorrow. So let's look at the particulars. So the Iowa caucus, caucuses, the Iowa caucuses are now six months away. Right, six more months we'll have the Iowa caucuses. The good people of Iowa will step out into the polling booth and pick their candidate of the declared 20 shit sandwiches. 19 shit sandwiches. 18 and a half. So, so tonight, tonight, let's talk about tonight, tonight, <laughs> is, is going to be, first let's talk about the commentators. So, so it's decided, two hours. Every contestant gets 90 sec, uh, 30, uh, 60 seconds, gets one minute to answer the question. And those questions will be asked by the good Jake Tapper, Don Lemon, and Dana Bash. Uh, ooh, no, so you got no, no Wolf Blitzer, no Anus Cooper, and no Chris Cuomo. You got Jake Tapper. Mr. Corporatist, <laughs> liar, <laughs> witch hunter, Don Lemon, black, they're black, 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 black. <laughs> Whatever's black, Don Lemon will be talking about. And, and finally, and finally, Dana Bash, Dana Bash, the Russian conspirator. Right up there with Rachel Maddow asking the questions about how we should lead our country. Who should lead our country and how? Dana Bash, Russian conspirator. <laughs> uh, so these three knuckleheads, Jake Tapper, uh, Don Lemon, Dana Bash, will be asking the questions throughout the whole two hours. No switchy switchy like the last time. Remember they switched? Oh no, no, let's switch. Well, let's let Rachel Maddow and Sleepy Chuck Todd do some questions. Not that, not this time. So, so this might be the last time we see uh, half of the field. And tonight, 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 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 p.m. in Michigan. Ah, the Rust Belt, where the cars used to be built. Not anymore. What do they want to hear? They want to hear an economic message. Uh, they don't want to hear no fucking identity politics, but that's all you'll hear tonight, right? So, so tonight on the stage, this is the big one because tonight one person on that stage could be president of the United States. On Wednesday, there's nobody on that stage that could be the president. <laughs> uh, so tonight... Tonight on the stage is uh, very, very interesting, right? Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. There will be the dynamic. That's what we want to watch for. Also is uh, Poo uh, Buttigieg, Buttigieg, Pete Bay, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, the, the failed Indiana mayor. 
first gay gay president. I want to be the first gay president. Vote for me. I'm the first gay president. <laughs> That's his qualification. I'm gay. Is it? <laughs> uh, so you got uh, Bernie, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas. <laughs> Lied about her, 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 her heritage. Is that going to come back and haunt her? I don't know. <laughs> if, if, if Trump has his way, you damn right it will be. Huh? Beto O'Rourke, I don't know how he's still hanging in there, man. Didn't they, didn't they already reveal this guy being a phony? Amy Klobuchar, all foam, no beer. <laughs> Corporatist Democrat, right up the middle. Nobody wants to hear from her. Marianne Williamson, faithful. Marianne Faithful, <clears throat> hollering out shit from the from the far end of the stage. Oh my God, we should all be, we should all just love each other. Uh, shouldn't be on the stage. Then there's H Hinken, Looper, Delaney, Ryan, and Bullock. Uh, so you've got, you really, it's really a battle of time between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. And what, what could be interesting is, because it's Bernie Sanders on the stage without a Joe Biden, technically the corporate Democrats and the wannabes, you generally have to attack the leader, right? If you want to get if you want to get recognition, you got to chop down the guy who's leading, and in this case, it's clearly Bernie Sanders. Arguably, Elizabeth Warren a close second. So if if the shit sandwiches, Delaney, Ryan, Looper, and and uh, Bullock. And Miss Faithful, if they go at and Buttigieg, if they go after Bernie, that's good because because Bernie's Bernie's right on the policy, but it also gives Bernie more time. Because if someone if someone attacks you, you get the you get ninety you get a, a you get like a quick thirty second rebuttal. So it's more more time for Bernie. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's a socialist. <laughs> Fuck it. So. So Bernie, Bernie Sanders, right? Uh, yeah, it's it, you gotta believe, man. You gotta, you still gotta believe, right? Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump on that on that debate stage for president of the United States is epic, because the policies, 40 years of Bernie Sanders policies, are on display. All right, so um, so I'll just talk about tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow night, and then I'll, I want to get back to how I think it's going to go tonight and what 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 should happen <laughs> in a perfect world. So Joe Biden tomorrow Joe Biden the the theoretical leader of the Democratic Party. All fake polls. All fake polls got Biden first, Sanders second, Warren third, Harris has the corporate media, corporate corporate polling, you know, 538 and all those guys, you know, the fucking Ramison and and, and all the pew polls and all those bullshit polls, right? Put together by the corporate oligarchs to convince you that Joe Biden is leading. So tomorrow, Joe Biden, the leader, will face off against Kamala Harris, the, the, the black candidate. She's black and she's fighting for blacks. But really, I thought she was just Indian and uh, Jamaican. <laughs> Isn't her mother Indian? <laughs> uh, but she's black. No, 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 black. A fight for the black. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a losing losing strategy, but it's good because if she keeps doing that, Joe Biden tries to defend himself and tries to be more black. He tries to out black the black, and he loses, and the black loses because nobody wants to hear that shit anymore. You were fucking tired of that shit, black, black, black. Black, I'm black, black, black. Fucking who cares what fucking color you are? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up and help the country out. Stop stop tearing the country down with your blackness. Uh, so so that's tomorrow night. Joe Biden, Camilla Black Harris, and Cory Black Booker, the vegan. I like Cory Booker's vegan. I like that. I didn't know he was a vegan. There's no, still no friend of mine. <laughs> friend of the animals we're friends we have a mutual friend Cory Booker and I the the animals but in terms of politics he's no friend of mine man Cory Booker shit sandwich get to the back of the line Cory uh, also Castro uh, tomorrow night a nobody 
Jay Inslee, nobody. Kristen Gillibrand screaming. She's just trying to get attention. Ping, dab, 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 just keeps talking. Shut her up. Turn the mic off. De Blasio, good debater. You got to be careful. De Blasio has absolutely no chance of being the president of the United States. But he sure as hell has a chance of winning, you know, getting, stealing the, the lion's share of the time on that stage. Because he's a New York mayor. He knows how to raise his voice. He got good at it after four years, six years. That, that's New York politics, you know. So, de Blasio on that stage. And, um, you know, and, and Tulsi Gabbard, who I, I technically, I would still like to see her in a cabinet seat, but I'll, I'll remove her from my vocabulary going forward because of that BDS uh, thing. And also, I don't like, I don't like uh, the idea of having a, um, uh, you know, intelligence officers... Um, you know, military people taking the White House. I, I don't like it. Scratch that idea. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. I wonder if they'll be allowed to grow. Hello, mushroom. Hold on a second. It's a, I don't know what kind of mushroom it is. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, uh, Joystick doesn't like that shit. Anyway, there's a couple of mushrooms over there. That's a better view. Big ones. I've never seen them grow like that before. Hmm. A New York City sewer cap. You ever seen one of those before? <laughs> this is sewer cap. So, so where was I? Oh, yeah. Bashing uh, t uh, Tulsi Gabbard. A nice idea. 38 years old. Maybe next time. Maybe a cabinet position. You know. If if Bernie wins, put her in a cabinet position. She'll probably get confirmed. All right? And just, you gotta, you gotta steer her. She's not, not a leader in terms of proper policy. And the outside, the outside hopeful tomorrow. As I said all along, if Andrew Yang... If Andrew Yang brings his sense of humor... Tomorrow night, he could he could while 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 Camilla Harris and, and and Joe Biden are trying to out black one another, if if Andrew Yang can step in between and say, "Hey, you guys, you guys can listen to the Asian. <laughs> right? We work hard. Right? Who's that Asian guy on the stage? Right? Enter Andrew Yang. I like Andrew Yang. I love his um, his progressive ideas." Some of them about this, um, you know, stimulus from the bottom, bottom up by giving everybody in the country a thousand dollars a month, basic, uh, basic income, basic universal income. I love that idea. It's a great, great idea that needs to be heard. So, right. So, so that's what's going on. The third, I'll just talk about the third debate and I want to get back to the, uh, the possible topics tonight, tonight. And what should happen tonight with uh, Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. So the third debate is scheduled roughly for September. I think the dates are confirmed. I just don't know what they are. Um, and you might get the field knocked down to eight contestants. Right? So, again. Tonight, Jake Tapper, Don Lemon, and Dana Bash are going to be asking the CNN corporate questions to a field that is led, the leaders of this field are clearly the alt-left progressive movement led by Bernie Sanders. Now, Bernie Sanders still, although there's been drips and drabs of Bernie saying that the 2016 thing was rigged, Bernie Sanders, in my view, if, if, he, if, if not now, never, he must come forward and say, he owes, first of all, he owes, he owes it to the people that gave him $270 million the last time around. The people that gave $27 each, and it added up to, to, to $240 million, right, that he let down by not fighting for himself, by supporting Hillary Clinton. So Bernie Sanders still has to get over that hurdle. 
call out the call it out right if Bernie Sanders can do that hey Bernie uh, for example hey Bernie so uh, what do you think about uh, what do you what, so if, if you're not the uh, the candidate then uh, are you going to support the other candidates say yeah fuck you listen the 2016 election was rigged it was rigged by the Democratic Party. Now, some people think it was Russia. A lot of us don't think it was Russia. A lot of us think it was Hillary Clinton's campaign. Right? So if you can address that, that would be wonderful, man. That would be a game changer. That's how Bernie Sanders can change the game because that's really the only thing that holds him back is the whole Russiagate thing in a lot of people's view. People are not going to get behind them because of that Russia shit, right? Can he overcome it? Will he overcome it? Does he have the balls to overcome it? Well, there was signs of it in, in little little snippets that I found that he is saying it. He's trying to he's trying to say, oh yeah, some people believe that uh, if the election wasn't rigged against me, I would have beat Trump. Uh, and uh, but he has to say, I believe that if the election wasn't rigged against me, I would have beat Trump. And I know who rigged it because I was there. Uh, that's 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 still the fundamental you know thing that Bernie Sanders has to answer. Forget about corporate. I mean, he's got to he's got to overcome the the corporate attack and the diluting diluting the message with five shit sandwiches, asking stupid questions, sucking up time. Nobody wants to hear from Tim Ryan and Bullock and fucking Hink and Looper and Delaney and and Marianne Faithful. Nobody cares about them. People are somewhat interested in what Buddha Judge has to say. Uh, hopefully, Beto O'Rourke, we can knock him out. Nobody really cares about Amy Klobuchar. She, I think she knows it. So it's Bernie Sanders, the leader, to win. It's his to win and it's his to lose. Now, the other part of it is Elizabeth Warren. And here's where it gets interesting because if Bernie Sanders is the nominee, I suspect that he will take Elizabeth Warren as vice president. He would be silly not to, because she's the second most popular progressive candidate in the country. And she's, she's a, as vice president, she would be a buffer between Trump. Put Elizabeth Warren on the stage, uh, head to head with Trump, and, and, and Trump is your president. As I've said all along, any other Democratic candidate besides Bernie Sanders, you have Trump 2020. And that's precisely why Fox and the corporate media are promoting other candidates. Because they know that they can't they know that they can't beat Trump. The only person possibly who could beat Trump, no, definitely who could beat Trump is Bernie Sanders. Because he has the ground root the, the ground game, he has the he has the experience, he has the message, he has the policy, he has the support of the people. Universal single-payer health care, free college tuition at city and state universities, break up the banks, attack the corporate, the, the corporate oligarchy, bring down the billionaire class and the military-industrial complex. That's Bernie Sanders. Deflate the, 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 all these, these fake bubble economies. Bring the stock market down. Crash it. Crash it. That... That's Bernie Sanders. That's the man right there. Now, you may disagree. I know. That he's a socialist. He's too old. He's too Jewish. He's too this. He's too that. You're wrong. You're just fundamentally wrong, and you got, you got your head stuck up Trump's ass. See, I don't... I, don't I, I have no... I have no allegiance to any of these people, really. Other than... Whoever sits in policy wins. Whoever represents the American people, in my view, wins. And tonight, you, America, have a chance, at least a little bit, to, to observe. 100 million people are going to watch this thing. It's a lot of people. Right? So, so it, again, it's, I'll be watching. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to talk about it until after. I like to hear how other people comment before I, I, I'll make my assessment I like to see the immediate spin so I, I won't be talking about it late tonight I'll be probably tomorrow morning I'll talk about it um, but again I think it's unless there's something spectacular like you know like Bernie Sanders drops the mic or something then I'll talk 
But otherwise, if it's just um, tit for tat, you got to watch the questioning too. That's that's going to be critical. Sanders, don't get angry when they ask you stupid questions. Smile, Bernie. Pretty please with sugar, Bernie Sanders camp. Get him to smile. He's the front runner. He's the leader. You know what? I'm the man. Fucking Trump, Trump. I'll punch Trump. Motherfucker, uh, Trump. Hey, Trump, give me Trump. I'll right, fucking Trump, Trump, Trump. You don't have to do that, Bernie. Just be the nice guy you are and talk about the policy. Your your videos from 2016 were uplifting. You captured the spirit of the, of of America, ma mainstream America, right? That you are a folk hero. Return to that. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be this this rough and rough and tumble guy. But you got to call it out, man. You got to call out the corporate media when they when they try to. They, when they try to corner you with a stupid question, ignore them. When 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 the, when a shit sandwich on the on the end of the aisle says Bernie Sanders is a socialist, say fuck you. This is where we're going in America. This is what what time it is right now for the American people. You are owned by the corporations. Fuck you. That's the message. You be tough, but but smile, and enjoy the you know enjoy the attack. So, Marcus Conte reporting.